In this video, I'm going to go over how to avoid viruses in your Roblox game. Viruses in your Roblox game can be incredibly pesky for when you're developing. They can ruin your Roblox game, lag your players, and even destroy your game altogether. Are you taking a break from developing? Make sure you join the Treetop Team's Discord server today. The Treetop Team is currently working on a project called Treetopia, a detailed, content-rich game that ensures to take you on a journey through the world of trees. Click the link down below to join the Treetop Team's Discord server because they're also hosting a giveaway of 150 Robux. While you're there, feel free to join the community with everyday activities, talk with the developers and admins, and even have fun being part of their group. Make sure you join to help meet the requirements to win the giveaway. The first First step to avoiding viruses in your Roblox game is to try and not use free models. I get it when you're new to your Roblox studio and don't know much about building or modeling, it's always great and fun to use free models, especially if you're just messing around. But those free models can have some serious dangerous things in there. And now they may not affect your computer, but they can affect your game, which can affect your progress and even all that time that you've been making on your game. Viruses can enter your game through the toolbox, things like this just in models. Now there are a lot of actual models that work and you can use and they're perfectly fine to use, especially if you're a newer developer. But for a lot of the models, I would recommend leaning off of things that do have scripts because they can have a lot of viruses, but a lot of them are good. I don't think anyone anything would come up if I did just type in a virus like this lag virus. Let's see what it is. I'm pretty sure this is just used for a demonstration. Yeah, so this one will just lag out your game whenever you play. But in this one, you actually have to put it inside of a part. So yeah, otherwise, I just delete any viruses in your game. You can check if they're a virus because usually I'll have like a little thing on the top saying this is this guy's virus or this is this guy's script or this guy was here, something like that, and then they'll have some type of code that will lag out your server in any type of way. Normally each one is different, so I can't really tell you like the basic ones, but they can be obvious. And if your game's lagging, go through all the scripts that you didn't make and try and just see what they're doing. Another way that viruses can enter your game is through plugins. Plugins can be dangerous too. Now, all the ones that do cost money, they're probably safe because they're charging people for them. I don't think that people would go ahead and buy them if they were viruses, but a lot of them that are free do have viruses in them. And the worst part is that with actual like scripts that you import in your game from models, those ones usually can only hurt your game while someone's playing or testing the game. They can't just spawn infinite scripts while you're developing. But if you have a plugin, it can definitely do that. Say you got a script generator plugin, whatever that is. You click on generate a script and that just starts generating all these scripts that you don't want. And they're all viruses and sometimes when you delete a virus, it can come back because some people are good at coding those and they're very annoying. So be careful with what plugins you use. A good way to not allow viruses in your game from plugins is if you go to the plugins tab and then click on manage plugins, this little button will show up right here. Now here's where you can update all your plugins and you can also go ahead and you see that on a lot of these, I have script injection denied because how plugins work most of the time is they insert scripts into your game because a lot of them are quality of life plugins that help you code or help you with things. So they need to inject scripts into your game. But a lot of them are bad ones and they can inject bad scripts into your game. So any ones that don't need a script or you don't use that often, I'd go ahead and turn off script injection. The third way viruses can add your can enter your game, I should say, is other developers. Now a lot of people will go on to Roblox's talent hub and they'll hire developers to help them with their game. What a lot of people don't know is that some of those developers can't be trustworthy and they'll actually put scripts into their game. Now this could come from a form of they don't want to work on your game. They don't like you or they just want to cause as much trouble and mischief as possible. So they'll go ahead and add scripts in random places, just to add a script right here and they'll lag out your game or they'll make a ton of scripts and things and they'll ruin a lot of things. So you really got to be careful with the people you're developing with and you've really got to be careful with how you trust them. Otherwise, feel free to trust your developers, it's always a good thing to do. 
you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. Hope this helped you from viruses. Stay safe. Goodbye.